Hello and welcome to the data structure and algorithms online tutorial video. In the last video, we saw what is binary search tree and in this video, we are going to discuss about AVL tree. AVL tree is a binary search tree. For each node in the tree, the difference between the height of the right subtree and the height of the left subtree is either minus 1, 0 or 1. AVL tree is a height balanced binary search tree in which each node is associated with the balance factor which is calculated by subtracting the height of the right subtree from the left subtree. Suppose if you want to insert the data in the tree, we insert that in the form of binary search tree. Elements less than the root node are inserted in the left subtree and the elements greater than the root node are inserted in the right subtree. And one more important point of the binary search tree is that duplicate elements are not allowed. You cannot insert duplicate elements in the binary search tree. Let's see AVL tree insertion. First we will see RR rotation. Suppose if we have to insert elements A, B and C in a tree. First we will insert A as a root node. After insertion of every element we will calculate the balance factor. That is height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. As you can see here there is no right or left subtree present. So the balance factor of A is 0 and it satisfies the rule of the balance factor. The balance factor value is among minus 1, 0, 1. Therefore, we can call it as a balance. Next insert B. But where we can insert B? Though we are not using any numbers here, but in alphabets B comes after A. So we can assume that it's greater than A. So we will insert B as a right child to the root node because elements greater than the root node are inserted in the right subtree. Now calculate the balance factor of B. Even B does not have any right or left subtree. So the balance factor of B is 0. Now again we have to calculate the balance factor of A because now it's having one child node in the right subtree and in the left subtree there is no child. So 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 till it satisfies the property. Therefore, it is a balanced tree. Now, let's insert C. So, C is greater than A. So, go to the right. And again, it is greater than B. So, insert to the right. Balance factor of C is 0. All the elements are inserted in a right subtree. And the balance factor of B will differ. It does not have any left subtree, but has right child. So, the value will be 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 lies in the set. Therefore, it is a balanced. Now again we will calculate the balance factor of A. Height of left subtree is 0 because it's not having any child node in the left side but it has two child nodes in the right subtree. Therefore the height of the right subtree will be 2. 0 minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 does not lie in the set therefore it is not a balanced binary search tree. But we have to balance it out. So in order to balance this tree we have to do the left rotation and while rotating the median element can become root. So just bring A to the left child node making B as a root node in an anti-clockwise direction. So this is the tree. Now we will calculate the balance factor. C and A does not have any left or right subtree. So the balance factor of B has one node in the left subtree and one node in the right subtree. Therefore 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. This is the balanced binary search tree. Till now we saw RR rotation because all the elements are inserted in the right subtree. Now next we will see the LL rotation. Suppose if we want to insert elements C, B, A. First we will insert C as a root node. B is less than C so insert as a left child. A is also less than B so goes to the left subtree. Elements are inserted in left subtree. So we can call it as a LL rotation. Now let's calculate the balance factor for this. Balance factor of A is 0 as it does not have any left or right subtree. Balance factor for B will be 1 minus 0 equal to 1. And balance factor of C will be 2 minus 0 equal to 2. Because C has two left child nodes and zero right child nodes. A and B satisfy the rule of AVL tree but C does not. So we have to balance it out. In order to balance the tree, we will perform right rotation in clockwise direction. Just pull down the C to the right and again calculate the balance factor. A and C does not have any left or right subtree. So the balance factor would be 0 for both. Balance factor for B would be 1 minus 1 equal to 0 because it have one left child and one right child. So the height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. So this is the LL rotation. Next we will see LR rotation. Double rotations are a bit tougher than the single rotation. 
L R rotation is equal to R R rotation plus L L rotation. That is, first R R rotation is performed on sub tree, and then L L rotation is performed on full tree. By full tree, we mean that the first node from the path of the inserted node whose balance factor is other than minus one, zero, or one. Say, for example, you have to insert the element C A B. First, insert C as the root node. A is less than C, so insert as a left child. B is less than C, so goes to the left sub tree. But we already have A there. C is greater than B, so insert as a right child to A. Now calculate the balance factor. So the balance factor of B is zero as it's not having any right or left sub tree. And balance factor of A would be zero minus one equal to minus one because it's not having any left child, but it is having one right child. So zero minus one equal to minus one. It satisfies the rule. So it is a balanced. Now we will calculate the balance factor of C. C is having two left child nodes, that is A and B, and zero right child nodes. Therefore, two minus zero equal to two. It does not satisfy the rule. Therefore, it is not balanced. But anyhow, we have to balance it out. In order to balance it out, we will perform L R rotation. L R equal to R R plus L L. R R will be performed in a anti-clockwise direction, and L L will be performed in a clockwise direction on B. So C will be the root node and tree will become like this, but still it is not an balanced tree because still the balance factor of C remains two. So we will perform L L rotation on tree, and B will become a root node, and A will be the left child node, C will be the right child node. Now the balance factor of the each node in the tree will become zero. Hence it is the balanced tree now. Next we will discuss R L rotation. As we already saw that double rotations are bit tougher than single rotation. R L rotation is equal to L L rotation plus R R rotation. That is first L L rotation is performed on sub tree and then performed R R rotation on full tree. By full tree we mean that first node from the path of the inserted node whose balance factor is other than minus one, zero, or one. Consider the node to be inserted. As A C B, calculate the balance factor for each node. Here A does not satisfy the rule zero. We will perform R L rotation in order to balance it out. So tree will become like this, but still it is not balanced as balance factor of A is minus two. Therefore we will again perform R R rotation in anti-clockwise. This will be the tree after rotation, and it is the balanced binary search tree. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel. And please hit on bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Install DSA application from the Google Play Store or from the link given in the description below. Please let us know if you have any queries in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.